Hi everyone. So we'll continue memorizing from the book of Hebrews. So we reached uh, Hebrews chapter 2 verse 5. So we memorized up to verse 4. So today we'll memorize verse 5. Uh, so I'll read that first. Uh, Hebrews chapter 2 verse 5. For it was not to angels that God subjected the world to come of which we are speaking. for it was not to angels that god subjected the world to come of which we are speaking so here there are two things right for it was not the angels that god speaking god subjected the world to come of which we are speaking so in according to jewish tradition or when jews say uh, the world to come that refers to the time immediately after messiah's entry so that started that has begun with his uh, resurrection and glorification but it will not reach its fullness until his second coming so the world to come it has already begun and it will reach its fullness when jesus comes the for the second time so that's one thought and he is telling it was not to angels that god subjected the world and in the further verses right he is using psalm 8 and proving that it is to the son that he is subjecting the world right so that we will meditate tomorrow so we'll today memorize only one verse that's a very short verse so it will not take much time so as i tell always try to meditate uh, try to memorize it immediately as soon as you hear that try to memorize it don't postpone it so if you memorize every day in one year you will memorize 365 Uh, verses right so that's our aim so do it consistently consistency is key here so we'll do it uh, as soon as you hear that try to memorize it okay so i'll read that again for it was not to angels that god subjected the world to come of which we are speaking so there is nothing much to meditate on this right so we were meditating on angels in chapter 1 uh, uh, verses 5 to 13 uh, the author was using seven citations and proving the superiority of sun to angels so we saw from different psalms and uh, all se- uh, out of seven citations six were taken from psalms and one is from chronicles so we meditated on all of that and uh, now in the second chapter again he continuing on the same topic of angels I wanted to share a small experience I had today. So today I was attending an adoration in our church. So whenever I attend an adoration even if I am conducting or attending I feel the presence of God. I feel he is there. Uh, that intensity is not the same always but I always feel his presence there. So today I was sitting there I closed my eyes and I was praying and suddenly I saw a vision and in that vision I saw an angel standing near the mercy seat like this. So when I saw that vision immediately I opened my eyes because it's the first time I'm seeing an angel in so many years I've never seen an angel in a vision I've seen mother mary I've seen all the saints I've seen Jesus but I've never seen an angel it's the first time I'm seeing an angel in my uh, in a vision so I immediately opened my eyes and I felt really happy I thought it's a small gift from god because I'm meditating on angels for the past one week right so we were meditating from the book of hebrews we took various citations from different old testament books and we were meditating on the role of angels so i thought it's a small gift from god uh, for meditating upon his angels so that's a small reward i took it as a reward from god sometimes when we do certain things god sends that reward right it i always feel that when we do certain things he'll reward us right so i took it as a reward and i wanted to share this experience with all of you so uh, let us continue meditating on this uh, bible verses because god likes it and it 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 will bring lot of blessings into our life so i just wanted to share this small experience while we are memorizing this today so i'll just read that again it's a small verse for it was not to angels that god subjected the world to come of which we are speaking yeah that's all uh, hebrews chapter 2 verse 5 for it was not to angels that god subjected the world to come of which we are speaking thank you god bless you all